The U.S.-China tech war is heating up. Research by a Washington think tank suggests that Chinese tech company Huawei used shell companies to acquire unpackaged semiconductor dyes made by TSMC. The report also says that China-based SMIC is using a 7 nanometer process in its most advanced chip and that it aims to surpass rival NVIDIA's H100 chip released in 2022. SMIC claims to have started mass producing the chip and says it has already made 750,000 units. A Taiwanese semiconductor expert believes that the claim should be a wake-up call to Taiwan's chip makers not to be complacent as SMIC's semiconductor yield rate is increasing rapidly. Chinese tech company Huawei managed to acquire TSMC chips despite sanctions prohibiting such action, U.S. think tank the Center for Strategic and International Studies said. A foreign media report said that Chinese chipmaker SMIC has already produced 750,000 units of its most advanced chip, the Ascend 910C, for Huawei. The report said that although the chip is no match for TSMC's 7 nanometer chips, it may be based on a TSMC design. Huawei allegedly acquired 2 million unpackaged logic dies from TSMC in 2020 before the U.S. imposed sanctions on the sale of advanced chips to China, it said. I think this report should serve as a reminder to TSMC, Samsung and Intel to pay attention to SMIC, whose yield rate is increasing very fast. Its most advanced chip, the Ascend 910C, is just over two years behind NVIDIA's H100, which was launched in 2022. Last year, Canada-based research company Tech Insights dismantled Huawei phones and found TSMC chips. The U.S. Department of Commerce quickly intervened, and in November last year, it required TSMC to stop supplying advanced chips smaller than 7 nanometers to Chinese companies. There is an extreme shortage of AI chips in China, and the yield rate reported so far is only 20 percent. The more they manufacture, the greater the loss will be. So I don't think that the company, which claims to have launched the Ascend 910C, has entered the mass production stage at this point. The expert said that, despite trying every possible means, Chinese companies have not improved their yield rates of advanced chips. If demand remains high, the cost of those chips in China will continue to increase, and SMIC will fall farther behind TSMC's taillights, he said.